Gzip is an open source compression method. It works behind the scenes to send your visitors as small of data files as possible. And if you're a Divi user looking to speed up your site, Gzip is one of the ways we recommend you do it. For some users, you may already be using it and not know it. If you go to GT metrics, you can see if it grades your site on compressing components. You should see something like this under enable compression or a similar heading. If you don't, you will get a poor grade for compression like this. There are a couple of reasons why you may have gzip enabled and not know how it happened. The first is that your hosting company, like SiteGround, automatically enabled it for you, or your caching plugin like WP Rocket enabled it. Probably the easiest way to enable gzip on WordPress is just to use a plugin. If you're not already using WP Rocket or a similar plugin, no worries. You can install a gzip specific plugin like WP Optimize. Although keep in mind that this is a general website caching plugin, so it may not work well if you already have one of these set up. But you could use Enable GZip Compression to handle only that task. Anyways, with WP Optimize installed, you can access the new menu item in your dashboard. Now navigate to Cache and you'll see a GZip Compression tab. And as you can see, I didn't have to do anything and it's already enabled because for most users, just activating the plugin should do it. Otherwise, you'll have to follow the provided instructions. And there you go. That's how you enable gzip compression on your WordPress website. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.